Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw a cowboy. So, here we go. The first thing we're going to do is draw out the head. So, we're going to draw, we're going to sketch out an upside down oval. So, the thin part of the oval is towards the bottom. And instead of making the top of the oval rounded, we're going to make it more squarish because that's going to be the hat of the cowboy. Okay, so we've got the oval, we've got the square top. So now we're going to draw the brim of the hat. And this cowboy, his hat is going to be, be pulled down low. So we're going to have the brim about halfway down about there and so then you bring it out so it comes up diagonally just a little both ends just like that so it's like just a like a little dip and have it come back in right there And around the bottom, you're going to do just a line across because that's just going to be the band that most cowboys have around their hats. Okay, so we got the basics outline for the hat and the head. So now we're going to do the face. So just do like a cross in the face. That just gives you, that just helps you out. So you're going to draw the eyes on the line going horizontally so this is one and two and just do a sort of heavy line over the eyes because that's his um his eyebrow part and the nose goes halfway down this part of the line so that's the big part little curled edges and just some thin lines for the side of his nose and for his mouth just halfway between the tip of his nose and the chin just do a little line and then you move on to the ears and a trick about the ears is the tip of them the top of the ears they don't go above the eyes because if you look at your own ears in the mirror, you'll see that the tips and just at like the top of at your eyes. So the ears, just we don't have them sticking out too much, just enough so that you can see them. And we're having the tip at the top of his eyes. Okay, now to more uh, details of the head. So for this, first, let's work on the hat. So for the top of this, we want it to come down a little. So indentations, because some hats, they came down like that. And let's go over the band a little more. And make sure the band is curved instead of um, straight because if it's curved it makes you makes it looks more 3d because straight lines are what makes drawings look 2d and curved lines and like not straight lines make it look 3d and give it texture so just for these sides we're gonna just make them a little darker for the tip here just like make it just like up a little so it's just not kind of boring and flat uh, so cowboys are pretty cool because they're so unique to America because they're like a symbol of America because only America had them and northern Mexico just that area because I mean like you have cowboys in Europe or like Russia or Japan or anything and makes them so cool because they're like pure American and there's some pretty cool 
cowboy movies out there. Like True Grit, that was a good one. Uh, Clint Eastwood has some good ones. But the problem is that they're all like old and they're not so modern. So the effects are kind of bad. And they're not that entertaining as today's movies. And um, you're also going to do this little, if you want, you can just do a little bit of hair coming down. Just give him some hair coming down the edges, down past his ears. Mm. And just outline more of his chin. So as I was saying, cowboy movies, we don't have too many modern ones. Like Cowboys and Aliens came out a while ago. And then tr they made a more modern version of True Grit. Those were both pretty good movies. And yeah, I think we need more cow cowboy movies today. Because with the special effects we have and the great filming and everything. I, mean, I believe, I bet we can make some pretty good ones. And now for the eyes, we're gonna gonna just make the outline a little bolder, and just a little circle in them. And just around that circle, you can do just like a little tiny iris if you want. Just like shade it in, so it's not exactly black, but it's not white either. So you know there's something there. And above the heavy lines over the eyes, we can do little squiggle marks for the eyebrows. And so for the mouth, um you you don't really have to do much. You can just keep it a line like that. That's what I'm gonna do for mine. If you wanna make it like want to make it really smiley or frowny whatever you can do that and for this cowboy cowboys they were they usually had mustaches or facial hair of some kind but this cowboy he is just gonna have some stubble on him so I'm just gonna make little dots around his lower face and you can just do little lines like that going up his face okay now we're going to do his abdomen and for the length of the abdomen um usually it's about two and a half heads long so here's his head it's about that big so we're gonna move it down two and a half so one two and a half about right there do a line right there just for now a light line just for the abdomen just do a rectangle that's a little wider at the top okay so we got his basic body now we're just gonna widen the shoulders a little we're making diagonally down you don't want them coming straight out because that just looks a little awkward you want to come in just down a little down a little more towards the neck, steeper towards the neck, and then coming out it gets flatter. So we got the neck. Come steep down and flat it out more. Okay, so you got the shoulders about right there. Start to round off the shoulders. A trick for a drawing person you can do circles at joints and just rectangles or lines for places like the bicep a line coming down and his elbow comes to about halfway of his abdomen so another little another circle for his elbow and then another long line coming down as his forearm comes down just below his hip. 